Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Toy Vault Farscape Series 1 figures. We're looking today at John Crichton, which contains a helmet, blaster with strap, two DRDs, sand goggles, and jacket. John Crichton is limited to 30,000 units. This is taken from uh, the show Farscape, which is, in my opinion, the greatest, one of the greatest sci-fi shows of all time. Loved Farscape. To this day, I still love watching Farscape. I'll pop my DVDs in from time to time, and I'll watch Farscape. It's a shame, really, that that show could never... I'm re I keep hoping that the show comes back. It's supposed to come back, and they've tried to. They're going to be trying to do uh, like webisodes to see if they can still get fan interest. But part of me is still fingers crossed that they're going to finally re-release re or re-bring out uh, Farscape. Down below, there's a picture of John Crichton, played by Ben Browder, who uh, who some uh, Stargate fans. We'll probably also recognize because both him and Claudia Black, who was also in Farscape, uh, both ended up making their way to uh, to Stargate. Um, I like the packaging as well. I love this oval, sh this egg-shaped packaging. It uh, again just lends itself to the whole different look, different design of the show. So very cool. On the back of the package, it says, "Look for these Farscape action figures." There's uh, Zan. Parzoto Zen, there's Chiana, there's Dargo, Ka Dargo, and then there's Aaron Soon. This is over 20 figures planned. All figures made to scale of 6 inch to 7 inch have multiple points of articulation modeled on Farscape television series characters. Look for Series 2 coming soon. Um, this also comes to us from, again, Toy Vault. You can also go to www.fandom.com. You can sell it, see that the show is still going on. It was on at Fridays at 9 p.m. on Sci-Fi. Sci this, this also is a 2000 series figure. This comes was from 2000. As for the read-up, it says height at 6 foot 1. Oh, and also there's a little, little uh, blip here. It says freeze or I'll fill you full of little yellow bolts of light. Oh, John Crichton, you're always full of delightful catchphrases. Height it was six foot one, job space shuttle mission specialist. Goal was to return to Earth any way he can. Fate, humankind's first intergalactic ambassador just trying to survive. Ah, oh, just gives me just gives me goosebumps reviewing these figures for you. I just love Farscape. At any rate, what I am gonna do is take a bit of a break. I'm gonna get this opened up. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at John Crichton. Stay tuned. There is more on the way. And just a quick advertisement. The figure does come with a little small poster showing advertising Farscape in stores everywhere February 2001. Hold on there, John. Hold on. I just want to advertise your show. Here, we'll lay you down for a second. There is Ben Browder, Claudia Black. I think it's Anthony Simcoe and uh, Virginia Hay, I believe. Farscape. Oh, greatest show ever. I don't know what I would do with this, but I'm glad. It's nice that they came with it. Let's have a look at John Crichton here. Uh, Likeness-wise, it's not bad. It, uh, it looks like Ben Browder. John Crichton. He's a little full in the face, but uh, but all things considered, I think it still looks like him. It would never happen, but I would love for NECA to release or to do a Farscape line. Again, that would never happen, but we can we can only hope. We zoom the camera back. You can see that John Crichton is sporting his jacket. Spot better be careful because I mean some people might say, oh, 
He's got a cloth jacket. That's a doll. Uh, it's still an action figure. It's an action figure with a cloth doll, uh, with a cloth jacket. You can take the jacket off, if you so wish. Oh, and underneath, there's also a little communicator. You see that? A little communicator for John, right there. But you can take the jacket off if you wish. Looks like it's fairly easy to take off. Fairly easy to take off. I don't know, maybe getting it around the hands might be a little bit of an issue. What can I say? Spot's not very good at taking off cloth jackets off of action figures. But uh, there he is with basically his white t-shirt. I will, you know what, for how much hassle I ha I'm having taking this jacket off, I might just leave it on. All I would need is for something to, oh, I don't even want to say it. Don't even want to say it. You know where I was going to go with that. Oh, I'm not going to say it. Get the jacket back on. All that trouble for nothing. There we go. Yeah, I find the find the hard part with sometimes with these jackets is you can never get them back on the figure very well. There we go. That doesn't look good. Hold okay, on a second. I was actually able to get the jacket off. So there, there you go. There's the jacket that he comes with. Pretty thick as well, thick jacket. So there you have John Crichton without his jacket. Still looking pretty good. You zoom down here. John also comes with some stickers. In this case, the American flag. We also got a Farscape patch, an, an IASA patch, which I guess you could put on the actual jacket, although being a sticker, it's not gonna, I don't think it would stay on very well. There we go, just get the camera adjusted. Uh, other accessories that John does come with is his helmet, Farscape, hel Farscape helmet. It looks like you could probably put it on him. These accessories, I find the jacket and the this helmet aren't the easiest to get on. You have John Crichton with his helmet on. A little ridiculous. It looks extremely large on him. Luckily, the strap underneath is a, a cord and not actually... Oh, it is plastic. Excuse me. It is actually plastic. It's stuck on his nose, though. Sorry, John. I'm picking and prodding away at you. There. There's his helmet right there. Uh, other accessories that John does come with is a pair of goggles. Again, not something I'm going to display him with. Oops. He does come with goggles. John also does come with a blaster. Pretty nice detail. I don't think I don't think there were very many John Crichton figures released in the Farscape line. I don't think the while well, the Farscape toy line as a whole didn't do well enough. Um, I think to warrant more than I think there was maybe three series of figures. Personally, I would have loved to have seen a Peacekeeper uh, John Crichton, as indicated on the packaging there with that red jacket. I always like that red jacket on him. Or even give him the black trench coat. That would have been cool too. And uh, maybe I had given him a Peacekeeper uh, pistol. Uh, the actual gun is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Nicely detailed. The paint's pretty good as well. And lastly, the other accessories that John does come with are these guys right here. And these would be the DRDs. These would be the little robots that go around Moya. Moya would be the living ship that the crew was on. They would go around and fix Moya and, uh, you know, and whatnot. But you get two of them. They look like they are the exactly the same. But you can never really have enough of these. I mean, they're, there's a whole ton of them on the show, so, I mean, it's pretty neat that they come with it. In the way of John's articulation, his head rotates left and right. His arms rotate all the way around. Waist swivel. And uh, no, nothing else. So really only one, two, three, four, 
points of articulation. Not super articulated, but still pretty good. I'm very happy that I was able to pick up this figure. I was certainly very happy to be able to review this for you guys. Uh, again, Farscape is one of my favorite shows of all time. John Crichton, I am gonna give him, I am gonna give him a 7.5. Not a bad figure, he's a little basic, but still, all things considered, a really nice figure. Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Farscape John Crichton. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. And wouldn't you know it, the one thing that Spot forgot to mention was that John Crichton also has a swivel in the wrist. So John Crichton's got a swiveled head, swiveled waist, arms move back and forth, and he also has that rotation in the, the hands as well. Uh, I was also able to get his jacket back on, which didn't seem to have much of a hassle whatsoever. Uh, overall, just a really nice figure. And uh, again, I'm very pleased to be able to bring this review to you guys. So I just tacked this video on, just want to show you guys yet. Yeah, he does, does actually have wrist swivel as well. See you guys next time.